first. Third balance. Then, upper body pull. And then, push down. And then, the legs squat. Yeah. Now, again. Balance. Reverse. Upper body push. Walk. Squat. Yeah. That's my total body workout broad fork feature at Earth Gym. Preach it, Rooster. Welcome to today's vlog where we're gonna address two problems. One, we have bare soil. The pigs and chickens just worked up that garden bed. We just broad forked it. Mother Nature, she's very modest and needs to be covered. So we're gonna cover her, problem number one. Problem number two is it's winter. It's literally freezing. And I like to use a special plant for a covering that will grow even if it's December 5th or at least I hope it will grow here in zone 7. Let me show you what it can be. This is uh, this is let's see there are two weeks two weeks this is a month this is a month ago look we got some plants coming up we got some plants coming up where they were despite the frigid. Now I want to share those special cover crops with you in just a second but first let's amend the soil. Oh snap thought it was gonna be right there. Will it be in the garden stall? That would make sense. No. Oh no. Don't tell me we used it. Shoot! I think we did. I think we used it. I think we used it on this. And I meant to get some. And Beauty was just in town. And could have got some. Ah! Ah! Hey Rebecca. What? Um, totally don't have lime or I know. I know. Want to drive to town again? Yeah, we're going to have to. We're going to have to yeah. drive to Lawn and Garden. We have to go. We have to do this before we do our cover crop. Before we go, let's get our special cover crop. Think I got enough? There, Jonah. Hey. Let's let's do it. I ordered it. Pick it up in two different places. How are you leaving me? I wasn't leaving you. I'm picking up the stuff. <laughs> Did you think I was gone? Did you think I was gone? Uh -huh. All right. You want to help him get the stuff? Come on. Come on. Yeah. We got to get one more. There we go. We got our line. That is gonna take us, we'll be home at four o'clock. Got one hour, we gotta hustle. Yeah. But I think we can do it. One garden line for lowering the acidity. One gypsum for softening up this clay soil. Jonah, where's the wheelbarrow? Over there. Wheelbarrow's right there. Jonah hauled some wood over. We got a little trick for that here in a second too. Hey Laurel, let's get our stuff. This is about two weeks ago. 
two and a half weeks ago. We have some. We have some sprouting. Yay. This stuff is miraculous. You can germinate down to 45 and grow down to 25. Now you can't just plant any old cover crop. Look, there's this chart by Peaceful Valley. It goes down the list of all the different cover crops, all the different be benefits. Fixes nitrogen, good for forager hay, good weed. Uh, come down to here, cold hardy down to 25 degrees, germinates in soils less than 45 degrees Fahrenheit. In my case, I called the local farm store and what they had right now was organic Austrian peas and organic cover crop wheat. Jono, will you run and get me a bucket, please? What are you doing? Laying down on the job? Yeah, well, Quick, come on, for? come on. What for? For the cover crop, for sewing them. Those are oh. 50 pound bags. We don't need 50 pound bags. We mean we need more like one pound. Don't ask me why I ordered 50 pounds when this is probably the last chance we're gonna get to sow seeds. We're gonna have to do something else next. Jonah's getting the buckets. Oh, thanks. All right. I consulted with my friend, my garden coach, Casey Ostwich. He recommended this stuff. And we have it, let's take some of that. You take two, I'll take two. This is row cover. What if we sowed this seed? Hey, we need a hard rake too. Peas are one. I'm gonna give you peas. Spread it pretty conservative. The trick to opening these bags is you open the, where the tag is, even if that means it's upside down. And then, you gotta figure out when the double thread would be on your right. So right here, the single thread would be on my right. So that's not the side I need to open from. I need to open from this side, where my double thread would be on my right. And just take your, unwind your string, one, and you can just pull it out like that. No, not like flurry, flurry. This is a heavy flurry, but a flurry, not a. I don't know. Snow. It's so it's unpredictable. Flurry. Another trick we have, Jonah, to keep this warm is let's cover these seeds with earth. We got our rakes. Thank you for getting our rakes. Let's do it. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but we've done about half of it. How you feel, Jonah? I it's only know. taken like seven minutes. It's a workout. Yeah, it's the it's the. Hard rake feature at the Earth Gym, buddy. Papa Laurel would be the best one. She can dig. Yeah, cover up those seeds, Laurel. You guys stay in order so we know what we've done and haven't done. There it is. We got it. That's one step to keeping these seeds a little warmer. Jonah, how many hay bales do we put on these gardens? Two. Two? Okay. You guys know the hay trick, if you've been with me long enough. But I got a new trick for you. Why won't that open? I don't even know what I did. Come on through. That's one hay bale down. We got one to go. You wanna make sure you use a pretty good hay, one that hadn't been grown where there's not too many, too much of the grass that's grown to seed. You want hay that hasn't gone to seed anyway for your animals. It'd be better if we had organic straw, but that can be kind of hard to get a hold of. Go, because they spread it. Two of three things we can do 
to baby these seeds a little bit to encourage germination despite the cold weather. One more to go, right there. Casey suggests I take some of my row covers, Agrabon. One more thing, Jonah. We're gonna frost protect this stuff. And the guineas can't gonna... get to it. Well, that's true too. That's true too. We have the fence for the guineas. Now, get us, get us one of your, get us two of your, move it down more. Hang on, hang on. One down. We can use the same, we can use the same wood. Come here, Josiah. Josiah, start hauling that out. Laurel, I wish you would stop running on the very fragile Agrabon. We've got two up, we gotta put down some wood. Let's put the third one up, guys, and then just reinforce it. This will keep it frost protected. The best thing that could happen is a snow, actually. We wanna hope it snows. That would keep it insulated, and then when it melts, it would moisten those seeds, and they would germinate. I don't know. Wind's already kicking up like crazy. All right, let's uh, let's cover the rest of it with all this wood. Oh. What about your walnut logs? Yeah. One, here's one, Lily. Can you carry that? We also got these walnut logs. Got it. Big gap here. Right. What do you think? Just shut off on me. Let's shut the fence. So what do I do with the wheat? Oh, I'll, I'll take care of the wheat and peas. You guys take care of the tools and everything else. Yeah, you can go with me, Mr. Brown. Jonah, will you shut back the fence? Yeah, yeah. All right, then we'll call it a day.